Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a full 360 walk around on my bike and show you all the updates that I've done on it so far. The first thing that I did was put the Custom Dynamics LED Pro Beam turn signals on the bike. And I think it looks great on it. They're white, very bright, and they shine. They illuminate very well at nighttime. That was the first install that I did on the bike and that was a very nice addition. I love those. Those are Custom Dynamics Pro Beam LED turn signals. I chose to go with the clear lenses instead of the smoke. I just wanted them as bright as possible and I really like the clear lenses on the bike. I went with the Custom Dynamics Pro Beam LED headlight. This light is fantastic. I love this light. It shines very bright. It illuminates. It illuminates well. It's a good looking light. It has the three uh, things down here, the light on the bottom, I don't believe you can see that, and the light up top, it looks great. Now they make that in chrome or black, and I went with the chrome. It looks great, and it's great for safety. Now, the first real change to the look of the bike was the lowers I installed. And it makes the bike really look nice on the front end. I'll put a link in the description below so you can find out where you can get those lowers. Also the foot pegs, you'll see the foot pegs on the motorcycle. I installed those foot pegs. That might have been my second install on the bike. The lowers is kind of a newer thing. I installed the saddle bags. They are a five inch drop bag. And I really like them. They have the cutouts in the back. And the reason why they have the cutouts because they're five inches low and they got the big Matusa, which isn't the other install I made. The Matusa slip on megaphone exhaust. I love the way this sound, that deep rumble. Other people with Milwaukee Eights is trying to find that deep rumble sound and hey, I found the Matuzas. They were inexpensive. Check out Matuza. I'll put that link in the description below as well. Let's take to the back of the bike. There's so many things done. I'll start with this. The first thing was done was these Pro Beam LED brake, run, and turn signals right here. I put them on with, at the same time, I installed the Magic Strobe. The Magic Strobe brake light it flashes and gets your attention. Let me show you how that works. All right. The same day I put the LED turn signals in the front, LED brake run turn signals in the back with the magic strobe. The tri bar, I changed that out. Now that tri bar back there is pro beam as well. Everything on this bike, light wise, is custom dynamics. And when you hit the brakes, they strobe as well. When I have the turn signal on and I hit the brake, the tri bar still pulsates. One of my favorite installs. If you look right here, you can see the plugs. It has an antenna delete. That actually was the first thing that was done to the bike. When I left the dealership, I did not want that antenna hanging off the back of it, so I asked them to take that off. They left me with two rubber grommets here and here where the antenna goes. There are turn, brake, run. You see that? I know it's hard to see because everything else is back there. I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. That is the Custom Dynamics plugs, they're great. And lastly, on the back of the bike, I have the new the Custom Dynamic Pro Beam bags, is what they're called. They're bag lights for your saddle bags. So they're run, brake, turn. They strobe with the magic strobe. I guess you noticed the latest addition I did to the motorcycle was installing the Tour Pack. I went with the Chop Tour Pack. It's not the Razor Tour Pack or the Pizza Box, as some people want to call it. It's the one in the middle. and. I really like the way it looks. It has the backrest pad on the back of it. it. It really goes well with the motorcycle. It's low and sleek and looks fantastic in my opinion. But that's the full walk around. Let me just continue to walk around and do a 360 of the motorcycle. That's the full walk around of traveling. My 2019 Street Glide. And the reason why it's called traveling, because that's what I intend to do with it, travel with it. And what I want to do next and I really want an air cleaner. I think I need an air cleaner and the Vance and Hines Fuel Pack 3 tuner or whatever else tuner. If you, if you know of a good tuner, let me know. But I need to get the standard air cleaner off of there and get this thing breathing a lot better and get a tune on it. Well, that's it. Oh, by the way, this tour pack here, they ha it's quick detached so I can take it off because I like it, but I'm still a fan of the motorcycle without the tour pack, so I can take it off when I'm not using it. And you know I'm going on my California road trip real soon. 
and it's going to help me with storage and speaking of storage the reason why i did so many of these modifications because the lowers has storage in them i can put things in the lowers the five inch drop bags they have a lot of room in the bottom of it it really increases what i can pack and then of course with the tour pack that only helps out it's just on my trip i still need to get a back seat bag i don't know which one i'm going to order but i'm going to try to order one real soon if you have any recommendations for a back seat bag to go in the back seat i want a waterproof back seat bag please let me know put that in the comments below that is the full 360 tour of traveling i want to thank everybody for watching please like share and subscribe and as always have a blessed day